Hey guys, Frozen here. I know I haven't brought you a video for a long time, but I'm finally deciding to actually do it. Um, basically, it's just because the Black Ops 2 came out, I've decided to do a video to show you my uh, thoughts and my how I feel about the game, really, my opinions and stuff. Um, got the game when it came out, I managed to play it a bit early, which is how I brought you the single player video, uh, by using a VPN to New Zealand. Which I don't think is technically against the Steam Terms of Service, but it's okay. This video is a free-for-all. Uh, I don't know the name of the map, but I go 30 and 5 at the end. Uh, it's a lot harder to get good scores on this game than it ever was in Modern Warfare or the original Black Ops. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure why. I think it's because it seems to take longer to kill everyone. Uh, it's harder to take on multiple groups of people at once. and But when you do, it does feel amazing. Uh, um, it's... It doesn't really take a lot longer, but it feels like it does because often the spawns are very erratic in that people can spawn like anywhere, really, it seems. It needs a bit of fixing, but it's been better than it was in previous games. But the maps are smaller in general, which makes it harder to uh, find something, find somewhere for the people to, to spawn. Um, there's no really massive maps like overgrown and those maps from like COD 4 in those days uh, like even Afghan and Modern Warfare 2 is a bigger map than any map you'll find in these games now but uh, I do miss that kind of gameplay I don't think it's like I don't think it would be weird in this game it seems like it would fit it fine so I don't really know what the decision decision is I think it's because it's all those uh like the young really young like 14 year olds 13 year olds who play this game who really want just fast ridiculous paced action and they don't really care about the gameplay but I prefer I prefer bigger maps where you really have to think and you can like have more opportunities for flanking even though they do try with the maps like there's a lot of maps where you do have opportunities for flanking but there's a lot of maps as well which I just really don't like like the uh, the ship map I'm not sure I don't know any of the map names I'm afraid I played the game for about 20 hours I think I'm rank like 40 45 or something I haven't played it as much as I want to do, but that's because I've, uh, my life's changed a bit. I've moved to Berlin, and I'm having, like, a, a gap year before university. I uh, haven't really been, uh, doing too much work, but I haven't been at home much either. Um, yeah, the hit detection, that's something else which I've noticed. It seems to be pretty much 95% of the time fine, but there are some weird instances where people just whip around and kill you somehow, or they... I don't know, just somehow managed to kill you even though you saw them and started shooting first. Uh, and my aim isn't bad. I mean, it's not my aim, I don't think. Even though I do sometimes aim badly, but not very often. Uh, my KD in this game, I don't know, it's like 2.2, something like that. And my win-loss is about the same. Which isn't bad. Have a, uh, having a win-loss above 2 when you're playing public matches is... It must mean that I'm contributing a lot to my team or something. Uh, yeah, this is me using the... Uh, Oh, I did figure it out. But when I first used this drone thing, I thought it was just a, uh, a car. Because I didn't know you could fly it around. But anyway, uh, yeah. So my overall impression of the maps is that they're mostly okay. But some of them are absolutely horrible. And they're just really small, like Modern Warfare 3 maps. I hated Modern Warfare 3 so much, you don't understand. Like That was the worst game I've ever played. In terms of a PC game, it just felt slow. It felt horrible. Like The matchmaking was horrific. Uh, this game it uses matchmaking, but then once you ma once you've uh, got all the people in the lobby, it actually uses dedicated servers, and they work really well. So it's a lot easier for me to play. I don't feel like I'm playing in like sluggish like treacle all the time. But um, yeah, Modern for Three in that regard was horrible. I think I played the game for a total of eight hours and uninstalled it and never played it again. Uh, single player. I haven't really played that much of it. I've played the first maybe like four or five missions. Um, I think it's okay. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous though. Like you just this one guy who just goes around mowing down like a hundred and fifty, like thousand people per mission. It's just it's just, it's just ridiculous. But I don't know. I guess it's fun for that kind of gameplay. If that's what you kind of want. But I prefer like newer games which are with a lot better single player. Like a Dishonored and stuff like that. I think this game is probably mo mostly intended to be multiplayer But for some reason they still take the single player seriously even though no one really I don't think it's possible to take the single player seriously as like an actual good single-player game uh, Dishonored Skyrim 
those are games you want to play if you want to play single player. Not not Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 or anything like that. Those games are not not good single player games at all. This is just a game about having fun in multiplayer or zombies. I haven't played much zombies either. I haven't really got anyone to play with, even though uh, I guess I could play with people if I wanted to. But I, I don't really like zombies. I like the uh, competitive multiplayer. I mean, I understand why we, you would like zombies, but I just... It's not my thing, really. Uh, the movement feels weird in this game. Uh, it's not as fast as Black Ops, the first one, uh, and it doesn't feel as fluid. Uh, I still think Call of Duty 4 is the best like movement in terms of how it feels to play when you're just moving around the map of any card. It's just a lot easier to like dodge, and it's a lot faster to just do things. This game feels almost like Battlefield in terms of uh, how, how slow it is, in a way. Uh, it's not slow exactly, but that you just don't feel as agile. It's hard to explain unless you actually like play it. I don't know really how to properly explain it either. Yeah. Uh, another thing I would like this game to have is an um, option for raw mouse input, like Global Offensive, the new Counter Strike and Source games, and Battlefield 3 as well. Because this game seems to have like a m mouse filter you can't turn off. If anyone can uh, tell me how then that would be nice. So it kind of throws off my aim sometimes. It feels like there's a bit of a mouse acceleration going on. Um, yeah. That's the game. I went 30 and 5, as you can see there, with one headshot. Uh, I like free for all because it doesn't mean I'm relying on my teammates so much, and I can actually do well. Thank you for watching. Tell me what more you want in videos, and goodbye.